Hey everyone, welcome into the K0LWC Hamshack. Today, we're gonna to be looking at how to program memory channels into your Kenwood D710G from the keypad. Let's check it out. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you're in VFO mode. So go ahead and click on VFO. I am now in VFO mode. Uh, go to the repeater output frequency. In my case, I'm looking for 444.6500. It does have a 114.8 tone to access. So I'm gonna go ahead and click tone to turn on my tone. I'm then gonna go function, tone select, and I'm already on 114.8. So just with that, we should be good and be able to access this repeater. Let's go ahead and make sure. K0 LWC testing. All right, there you go. Uh, we do have it uh, coming back here on the output. Awesome, so we should be good there. Now that we've confirmed we have the repeater properly programmed into the VFO, we wanna go ahead and save it as a memory channel. So we're gonna go ahead and click the function key. And notice when you click the function key, now you have different options here pop up on the left and right hand rails of the radio and you have a flashing number. Now this number in the upper right hand corner is your memory channel. So uh, currently it's flashing on memory channel 25. But notice how the carrot to the left is actually filled in dark black. The reason that is, is because there's actually something already programmed in memory channel 25. Now, if I were to go back, you can see I have all these channels already slotted with something in. That's why the arrow is black. What I want to do is go to the next available channel that has nothing programmed in, so I can put this new repeater in. What we're going to look for is for this arrow to turn white. There we go. So channel 27 is the next available channel I have. Once I've selected the proper channel, channel 27, there's nothing in there. I'm gonna go ahead and click M in or memory in. There, that simple. Now we have channel 27 is programmed for 444.650. Let's confirm that. I click on uh, memory, MR. Here it is, channel 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, right? But you'll notice one thing is different, right? There's no name like we see on channel 26. This says Minneapolis Win or Wisconsin Interstate Network. But here there's nothing. How do we fix that? Well, let's go ahead and program a memory channel in. I'll go ahead and click on function and then click in on the wheel on the lower left corner. Then go to memory. And then the first thing under menu 200 should be memory name. Click it again. And now we have an entry. So now we're gonna use our keypad on our microphone to go through and use DTMF to actually program what we want this to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in Minneapolis. So M, whoops, missed my P. P, L, S. Once you've uh, completed what you want in, go ahead and click on the wheel in the lower left corner. Click it again. And now you've programmed your memory name. Let's take a look, let's escape. And now channel 27, it does say MPLS, which is what I want for this channel. So there it is, it's that easy. When you wanna program things uh, on the fly, it's very, very easy on the Kenwood D710. Now remember, this does have a cable as an option where you can get the cable from Kenwood and actually program this via software, which would make your life much, much easier. But programming it by hand is actually a pretty fast process, so bravo Kenwood for that. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more great ham radio videos. I'll catch you again next time.